Hello guys, and welcome to episode 11 of my Corellia campaign in Still Division 2, playing on the Soviet side. Previously, we defended against a Finnish counterattack, and we fought back at the start of our turn, destroying one of their HQ sections. Now we're going to be continuing to push through their lines, and that's going to start with the 1189th Rifle Regiment and the 693rd Rifle Regiment. Let's go ahead and move these up. I'm going to keep them slightly away from the Jaeger Battalion there. Also going to move up the 108th Rifle Corps and the 1076th. We're going to have to keep a couple units here to keep the corridor open. But for now, I think I'm just going to squeeze up as much as I can. I'm going to shift this up a couple spaces, and I'm going to bring one of these in to fill that gap. I might dig these guys in, or I could move them back as well. I think I might move them back first, and we can continue to push them up as we create the defensive wall across here. Let's just move that back one space, and we'll dig them in in the next turn. I'm probably going to keep the 178th Rifle Division HQ and the 90th Rifle Division HQ here. And we can keep the artillery here as well. And that goes the same for the 24th Guards Mortar Brigade. But the Motorized Rifle Battalions might be able to squeeze through the salient. Let's push those up. And the 1074th can also move on round. Let's just get that up as far as I can. I do want to break through on this road. I want to push all the way up the road, preferably, because that would be way faster than reversing the land on the left-hand side here. But we'll see. Let's continue to have a look at other potential opportunities. I could definitely break through on this road. That would be great. If we could push through the Independent Battalion 28, which has a lot of Kivari. Uh, it has a few tank in Toyunta. Lati squads. What about the 3rd Battalion of the 3rd Brigade? This is a little bit better. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to push straight into the Independent Battalion 28 and we're just going to try and break through this road and uh, push on down whilst the rest of the units come in to kind of back us up. Because we do have both the 21st Army Reserve here and the 3rd Mobile Group to do plenty of damage. Okay, let's grab the third mobile group. I'll probably push forwards with the 190th. It may be worth bringing in some aircraft as well. So let's choose to bring in the 14th Guards fighter wing. Just in case they decide to bring in their bombers again. Actually, that's a bad idea because we're under AA cover. So let's not do that. Uh, we'll instead have to bring in artillery. Let's do artillery. Do these have any AA to come with them? I don't believe they do. What about the 190th? They don't either. Definitely something to consider since in the last episode we played against pretty much every air unit they had. I guess we'll just have to win quickly if they do come and attack us with their aircraft. In we go. Looks like they didn't even reinforce, so that's good. Hopefully will help us create a path through that road in order to zoom up to our objective. Okay, so we'll just manual deploy. And there's not going to be much in the way of any threats to our armor. Uh, there is the tanky Doyunta, but that is about it. So I'm probably just going to rush forwards with a bunch of uh, T-34s. Right, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm Probably going to bring some recon tanks and stuff with them as well. We can. How much recon do we have? I have the recon BA-64s. We could use those, potentially. We could also use the SU-57s, but there's not really any armoured targets. I think they only have AP shells. They do have some HE shells, but... Nothing terribly useful. Ah, there we go. Perfect. D70 Resvidkas. They will do perfectly. Alright. So, we'll just kind of push these up the roads. 
do anything come across and I'll back it up with infantry after the start because we will get nine points a minute so we should be able to just put one on every flag that we take as we go and any units we find we can just blast them to pieces like so That is a very dead maxim. Okay, uh, let's bring in the Vardy squads to capture and hold these objectives. It will also give the enemy something to shoot at, so it will reveal more forces for our tanks to engage. Great, so we have a nice salient in the center. I'm a little worried about what's next to my T-34s there. Oh, we bumped into the Lati. Uh, we're going to have to keep distance from the Kibari as well. The Kibari, they do have the AT grenades. Is there another one there? I feel like there's another one there. Oh no, they're all falling back. That's good. I can go in for the surrender. There was a tank in Toyonta. Great. Alright, we're making decent ground. Gonna get the Gavardia in there. The T's hidden T continue. Yeah, so as I mentioned, having infantry by the forwards is gonna reveal enemy infantry squads because They'll engage the infantry, but not the tanks. And allow us to just clean them up easier. Get to the edge of that hill, and we can just cover it from there. Meanwhile, I'll get my Kavadia to move forwards. Nice they all come in a reasonable veterancy. We bumped into a few units right next to us. I think that's probably because my T70 was lagging behind. We we missed them. But we're doing well. Keep pushing through. The Finns cannot stand in the way of our might. <laughs> I don't want to get too close to the Gavari there, that's for sure. They will hurt. We kill a T-34 with the HE grenade if we're not careful. Or AT grenade. Yeah, I think they were falling back. I hope they were falling back and not just moving toward my tanks. I guess we'll find out. I'll move my Gavardia into the building next to them. Okay, great. That's them sorted out. And these don't have any AT, so I'm just going to drive up to them with the T-34. Didn't need to unload those. Let's get some more tanks in from the mobile group. Oh, the T 34s. I think I might have to bring this Gavardia back. Ooh, and that's not good. The T-34 is dead. It's so dead. Gotta be dead. Maybe not? No, it's dead. <laughs> Definitely dead. <laughs> I 
I was going to say. <laughs> I would have been very lucky if I hadn't have lost the T-34. Oh, the T-70 also went down. There was two squads. That's unfortunate. We lost the Givadi here. It was going so well, we barely lost any troops. All of a sudden, these three units, one after the other. Oh well. Glorious Soviet sacrifice, as usual. Get some more Gavardia to these points. I'm gonna spread them out across the map. Okay, so we've nearly killed that unit, which is good. Great. Then the other unit that was left over was on the right-hand side here. I think they were in those trees on the far edge of the map. Loads of tanks coming in. What a glorious sight. And 20 to 4 on flags should be over shortly. You'll probably speed it up. Definitely need some infantry for this right hand side though. If I want to capture that. But we captured the two in the center, so that's going to push it 21 to 3. Great. 23 to 1. Total victory. So that will probably destroy the unit we were fighting against. The Gavardia, two of those died. We lost the T-34 and a T-70. I didn't actually destroy them, wow. Okay. But they are disorganized, so I guess that's something. And unfortunately it kind of pushed them onto the road. I was hoping it would kind of split them a bit so we could move some units through up the road, but I guess not. Um, we're going to have to hit the Independent Battalion 6 as well then. Uh, let's go and fight through those. We'll bring in the 21st Army Reserve and just smash them to pieces. I might even bring the 49th Armored Car Battalion, although they would be great for pushing through, I guess, if we make a breakthrough. So let's bring the 63rd Guards Rifle Division HQ instead. These come with uh, two star 122 mil artillery. Very nice. So no need to worry about aircraft anyway, I think, because I believe this battle was under AA cover. It's just going to be them. They didn't actually reinforce. Okay, and I guess it's just the same thing again. I assume that the units we're up against are pretty much the same, so we'll go with that. Do we have fast vehicles? We do. So we'll just uh, bring out the T-34s again. But I think I'm going to bring more infantry this time, just so that I can kind of deal with their forces quicker. I don't know if I should bring the KV-1S, it will be a bit slow. I uh, will bring the Motorazvidka in the M3A1s. To back us up. Nice fast vehicles. And I think I'll probably just launch the battle. And we'll go from there. Okay, let's bring in the infantry. Avtos aren't ideal. We can use Sapati. Sapati are okay. So just doing that so that I can have them shoot hammer transports or the infantry when we unload so that the tanks can then engage any infantry that reveals itself. Of course, the Motor Vedka, uh, we could have them unload early to reveal stuff. I'm probably going to do that. Actually, it might be a bad idea to do it there. I'm going to allow my M3A1s to engage, though.
Alright, let's go put this one in the tower. There might be some Kivari nearby like there was before. But I'm not sure. Ooh, okay. That Kivari nearly killed my tanks. That would have been bad. But they failed to do so, so that's good. I'm gonna have to make sure that I unload my infantry now. Okay, I think we lost, what was it, the Montrashvetka and the Separi on the right to the Lati squad there. But otherwise all good. Uh, let's just make sure we push back through here. We're going to want to get on top of that mortar on the left hand side ASAP. Oh nice, we opened up a huge salient. Get my... M301 Razvidka to go and see what's going on. We can get rid of this area, then we can maintain control of those flags very easily. Right, we're up to 16 to 8. The primary thing I want to do here is just make these battles go quickly because there's just not really much going on in the grand scheme of things especially compared to those battles we had last episode and <laughs> they were they were insane so make sure to go back and check those out definitely the most action we've had so far in the campaign this is probably in trouble I'm gonna preemptively let those come back we'll get some more Sepali to come up Maybe get some IS-2s in here, why not? Oh, that uh, Motorazvedka, definitely not in a good place either. Right, let's stay in there. That's giving us recon information that we need. Motorazvedka have died. I don't think there's much I can do about that. Right, let's just move through the Sepoli. And I'm going to get my Motorazvedka up here as well. 301 can move through. We'll get the T-34 up on the ridge as well. Right, I'm going to move all of these to the left-hand side to get them further forwards. And we're going to want to start pushing, like, majorly aggressively with the T-3476 is on the right, otherwise they're going to run into some Kivari and get killed. Or Tanki Toyonta, uh, which I haven't pinned down yet. Or had pinned down and then unfortunately lost. Oh, it's another Tanki Toyonta. No! <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> Doesn't really matter for the N3A1s, but still going to slow things down a little bit. Okay, great. That's that hill taken. Uh, let's push through to the town here. And I'm going to have these come down off the hill whilst they're covered by the T-34s. Uh, that's going to be going for the shot onto my M3A1, I assume. We are 18 to 6. Should be able to get it back. 19 to 5 pretty soon. That's going to be a dead MG for sure. Okay, great. And one nice thing about the Separi is they are actually pretty decent at mid range, not just close range, because they have the SVT and the DP. It uh, allows them to 
do a lot of damage compared to other squads that use HE. Right, let's move across into the open there. Keep pushing up towards this town. Got our little tank squad pushing forwards. Great. After Machiki. They can clean out these forests for us. Uh, the Aftermaths, though, they will struggle against the Gavaris in close or in uh, medium to long range, which is basically what's happening there. I'm going to have to just pull back and hope that the Gavari follow. 22 to 2, though. Alright, nice methodical battle. Should have the job done. Alright, speed it up. Total defeat in 15 seconds. Can then plenty of infantry, which is nice. Great. 31 kills, 8 losses. Some M3A1 Resvitka. Lost one tank, but that's it, really, that matters. Good. Okay. Uh, so, that actually destroyed that one, which is perfect. That leaves those units in a relatively precarious position, actually. I'm going to move the Motorized Rifle Battalion back. I wish I could move the 63rd Guards Rifle Regiment back. Hmm. All right, I'm going to dig in this boy, the 134th Guards Rifle Regiment, and we're going to move this one up. And we're going to move this one into the gap as well. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't really move these forwards at all. I can move the 17th Assault Engineer Battalion to the front line. I don't mind doing that. That will allow us to reinforce whatever gets attacked in Phase B. Unless they get attacked themselves, but they're pretty strong. Uh, the Faust Niki, though, maybe not. But look at all these stuff of Niki squads. That's very elite. Okay, so yeah, we just need to break through on this part of the road, and then we'll carry on. Now, I'm, I think what I'm going to do, guys... Uh, for this campaign, just because it is taking so long to do everything, is I might start playing things a little bit more defensive on areas where I don't actually need to push. So, for example, on this bottom side, like it's, I could attack the second battalion of the 19th brigade, but honestly, it's a bit of a waste of time because if we just break through here, for example, we'll be on this objective in no time. Uh, once we break through the road, we can get up to this objective. And once we break up through here, we can go for that objective and that will be the end of the campaign. So I think I'm just going to, instead of going for like a total annihilation like I have done in some other campaigns, um, I think I'm just going to go for the objectives to kind of speed things up a bit and allow us to move on to the Axis side of uh, the latest campaigns. Hopefully you guys uh, don't mind about that too much. Uh, so for example here, we can just kind of push around and uh, we can kind of make a defensive line wherever we need to in order to uh, repel uh, any forces trying to cut us off. But again, here I can kind of just push through. I will probably destroy the 8th Border Guards Battalion that's in our way here, uh, just so that I can open up the road a little bit, and then maybe that can join up with these forces. So we'll probably try and push through here as well. If I RT the Pioneer Battalion here, they won't be able to join in, and then we can attack the 3rd Division HQ. Should be good. Unless these guys can join in as well. They can, okay. Um, I'm going to have to RT both of those if I can. How many RT units do I have? That one's just out of range, I think. Can we bombard that? No. Hmm. That's a bit awkward. I was hoping I'd be able to bombard both of them. Okay, well, never mind. We'll probably still make the attack regardless. Uh, the fact they have breakthrough defenses isn't too much of a problem as long as I'm using my mortars correctly. 
I should have one of my rifle regiments squeeze behind here, I think, and try and cut off these forces. So we can have one of these go round. I might actually attack this disorganized unit just so I can limit the amount of reinforcements they get. Also, that will squeeze them into a pocket that we can encircle. Okay. Yeah, along this front, we're just going to, again, dig in. So I think I might leave... Well, we'll move these up for sure. I think I'm going to move this one to there. We'll dig those in next turn. I will probably move this up slightly and we'll probably dig these in. Right. The plan here is just to kind of protect this road so that I can continue to push things up to this pocket and then we can push up to the objective from there and then from this objective push up this road to the next objective and meet the forces that are breaking through on the front. Good. Uh, so let's just cover off uh, from the left to the right again and see any more attacks that we want to make along the way. Most of this stuff's already moved. We can certainly move up the 94th Ender Tank Regiment. And I would like these to be further up, but I'm a little worried about the Infantry Regiment being able to attack them. We'll just move them up slightly. I need another unit on the edge here to stop those from coming through. We could force something with the first mobile group. I'm tempted to attack the second armoured battalion. This is full of T26Bs. We could wipe them out nicely and then that will put us one step closer to this road uh, to push through. Let's do that. Uh, they might call in the Stugs as well, which would be perfect. So we'll bring in the first mobile group, the 1238th Rifle Regiment. And behind those, maybe one of these other artillery or infantry regiments, but I think we need some air cover. Mainly just in case they bring in aircraft. But I don't think I really have any fighters. Oh, I do have the 14th Guards fighter wing available. Great. That's going to cover us in the skies, and we'll have plenty of infantry in the ground because of the 1238th Rifle Regiment. All right, it's tactical battle and jump on in. They didn't reinforce. That's going to be a lot of dead T26s. My infantry I'm going to have to be very careful with. Now this is one hell of a mismatch in terms of IS2s versus T26s. Is it IS2s? We do have some IS2s, right? Yeah, we've got loads of them. There we go. But this is Cell Forest, so it's gonna get ugly because it's gonna be close range engagements now I don't think a T26 can really kill an IS2 very well even in side armor but still a little bit worried about that <laughs> especially considering the rate of fire on these IS2s is very slow compared to the T26s so yeah, again gonna have to be careful that's why I'm bringing the leaders with me because we're gonna need all of the veterans see we can get. I can make these three star IS2s, so we're going to do that. And I'm basically just pushing them to each road, and then we'll carry on from there. Any other command tanks that are decent? Maybe the T34 76. And I can use a commander on this side. Cool. Great. Uh, then it's just going to be like infantry. But I should probably use infantry that has ETRDs. Because they are using plenty of light tanks, of course. We'll bring in the Stryker DP. Just a, a couple, really, to support each tank column 
and a couple for the left. There we go. What's the battle? We don't really need the fighters, so I'm not going to bring them in. Let's just speed things up. And into the forest we go. Of course, I say this is cell forest, but of course, we are all still in Finland, technically. This is just the cell forest from multiplayer and so on. Up the hill we go. Doesn't really look like we're bumping into much. Uh, the T26s are very slow though. We've got to be careful, really, just in case they are coming, but they just haven't moved to the front line yet. <laughs> and we're already 15 to 9. This might be a, a lackluster battle. I was hoping we could just turkey shoot some T26s, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. I'm going to grab some more infantry to accompany these tanks. They're also great for just holding the front line. Right, we're going to have the IS-2s just sit on the different roads here. have these ones push through to the center. Have we bumped into any tanks yet? I'm not sure we have. ISU-122 command. <laughs> For those of you who play like World of Tanks or something, imagine bumping into an IS-2 in your T-26. <laughs> well, that was actually, in fact, a KV-1S. <laughs> not so uncommon <laughs> but the T26 certainly is what is this? that's another KV-1S no match for an ISU-122 though now because they only have one unit technically they have a lot less income than us which would be why they're not bringing out as many tanks as we expected, or I expected. Uh, we've pretty much just crushed them very quickly. I'm going to try and total victory this uh, sooner than later. If doing my PTRD can get the job done there. It does have 64% penetration. Alright, let's just move these IS-2s back. The Strokies are reporting contact! with armoured cars. Save them. <laughs> Here come the T-26s. It's the T-26 ambush. These IS-2s are like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, maybe it was a turkey shoot after all. <laughs> we did lose a unit of Strokey DP though. <laughs> that was a T-28. Went down. Okay, well, that is victory in two minutes and fifteen seconds, so this was relatively easy. I'm going to keep pushing forwards a little bit with my infantry just to kind of secure the front. I'm going to need to move forwards with this commander. I thought that ISU-122 was going to take out that motorcycle then. That would have been overkill if I've ever seen it. <laughs> right, all flags are ours. Ten seconds till victory. There we go. I wonder if that destroys the unit, because if it does, the Finnish aren't going to be happy. 
obliterated by IS-2s. Yep, they're gone. They are goners. Alright, well that takes us one more step closer to the road, which is good. I'm probably going to want to take out the 4th Battalion of the 3rd Brigade. Uh, they're very weak actually, which is good. These are all Sturmies, I assume. Oh, there, are, there is some Germans in here as well. The uh, Stug 3s come to help. I mean, obviously the Sturmi and the Stug 3 more or less the same tank. I think I can probably just make an infantry push onto these. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know if I want to bring in the 21st Army HQ. I don't think I will. Probably bring up something in phase B. The 358th Rifle Division will do. Or we could just not bring anything. It depends if they get reinforced. Because if they get reinforced, then I'm going to want like another unit in phase A. Which would only really be the 1238th or 36th. Uh, we may as well bring those as well. Alright, let's do it. They didn't get reinforced again. So we will just manual deploy and rush them down. So grab all of the Strauki I can muster. Just pile towards them. It may even be worth doing a a charge strategy. Just deploy them without transports from the start and just run them down. Soviet wave tactics. Obviously we've used this unit to attack before because we're lacking Strauki in some of the companies or battalions. At least we won't get transport snipes at all, even though they don't really have much in the way of transports. Alright, speed things up. Oh, not transports, AT is what I meant to say. Split these up a bit so they're actually heading towards some of these flags. There really isn't much in the way of things we've got to kill. I could have probably rushed this a bit better, but it's always fun to charge hundreds of men forwards. Look at him go. Okay, let's bring in some Strauki and we can speed this up. <laughs> bring them in with the transports. I mean, these have uh, attack move orders all the way to their base, so. <laughs> Fine, we can kind of just unload these a bit early. If we need to. Obviously, we don't want to unload next to anything that can kill the transports like the Lati squads there. Oh, we did in fact lose a couple of infantry squads there. Yeah, maybe it was a good idea to do a human wave tactic because yeah they're just all stacked up. I actually lost more bringing in the transports after the start of the game than I did. From the initial charge. <laughs> I had the right idea all along. Oh well. They're all dead. I'll delete that pioneer -y. That put up a good fight, considering the odds. I'm gonna bring in my mortars from each of these. And that should also speed things up a bit because any sort of tropes we come up against, the mortars will fire at them. Job done. 
basically. Also gives me something to spend my points on. We're getting points in very quickly indeed. Put them all on to fire at well. Let's see how we do. Be crazy if they all fire at the same target. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> you would not want to be that guy. Standing in that position right now. I'm gonna get some snipers to come up and help us break through in areas where they're dug in. Oh, that's enemy mortar. Oh dear. It's a goner. Look at that artillery fire. Wow. A lot of 120mm mortars. <laughs> no way. Is the, if the mortar survives that, it just show how unreliable 120mm mortars are. Okay, they go down. But only on the last salvo. <laughs> Blimey. Alright, we're getting there. Looks like my infantry wave is killing off anything they come up against, so we're all good. I should have just let the wave do its thing. It turned into quite a fight. I may as well push across to this town. Look how many men there are here. Holy moly. Keep being sped up. Should be all over soon. Anywhere where there's some form of resistance left, my mortars will certainly find it and fire away. These are my supply trucks. That's going to be all of the objectives taken once the Kivari here are dealt with. Great. We lost three Stralki in transports. But otherwise, quite a simple battle. And that will definitely destroy those at least. Now, this will put us on the wrong side of the, the lake there, but it allows us to secure the right side so they can't put pressure on the road, which allows other units to kind of zoom up on this side much faster. I'm going to get the 21st Army to move to the left-hand side. And uh, we'll just squeeze all of these up to help. Great. Uh, we do have a little bit of a gap here, uh, which is a problem. I'm probably going to shift over a unit. because I'm going to have to defend this road as well as we push up. We'll try and encircle units where we can. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So we made a plan in order to go for the objectives. And yeah, I think I'm just going to remain uh, defensive in most places, especially down here um, on the right hand side here needed to break through and get this road going so we can start pushing things faster towards the objectives. That's it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.